Steve, how is it possible that the Monday after the election, we are still with you at the big board this morning? That is where we are. Florida, Georgia, Arizona. Put it all in perspective with us. Let's start with Florida's ballot and the design issues potentially that you're looking into. Yeah, I mean, it really is 2000 all over again, not just the recount, but ballot design potentially being an issue. Look, the governor's race right here, you're just talking about it. More than 30,000 votes separating Gillum from DeSantis. These recounts they're having right now, you know, it's typical you're going to see a little bit of a change from a recount like this, but on the scale of 30,000, you need something more systematic almost if you're Gillum. Uh, where it gets more interesting is the Senate race. The March as you can see, much closer to begin with here. This is a 12,562. That's not a good two there. 12,562 votes. That's what Nelson trails Scott by right now going into this recount. Now we will see. They'll run them through the machines first. There's a manual recount. We will see if that number gets adjusted at all, if it moves in Nelson's direction at all. But where ballot design, I mentioned that may potentially come in, is right here in Broward County. Massive, heavily Democratic Broward County. This is how Broward Howard's voted more than two to one for Bill Nelson. Look at that. Well over half a million votes. This is a huge Democratic vote producing county. And yet, when you look at the results from Broward County, the total number of votes cast in this Senate race in Broward County is about 26,000 less than the total number of votes cast in the race for governor. Same ballot, 26,000 fewer votes in this race. You don't see an anomaly like that in any other county in Florida. And so something happened. They call that an undervote. Something mm. happened to cause the undervote. Now, the Nelson campaign is insisting this is a machine error. I can put this up on the screen for you, the ballot. The Nelson campaign is insisting this is a machine error and that when you have this manual recount, it will be caught. But I want to point out what the Broward ballot looks like and where they placed the Senate race. Look at this. Let's this is the there, Senate yeah. race. This is a lengthy column here on the left of instructions. This is the race for Congress. There's a bunch of different congressional congressional districts in Broward, there is a part of Broward County where the incumbent member of Congress ran unopposed and where by state law that doesn't even appear on the ballot. And in that part of the county, you had an extra high number of blank ballots in the Senate race. So the possibility here that ballot design led 20,000 plus potentially people to just not vote in the Senate race in a heavily Democratic county right. looms over this thing. So all the attention right now, and a lot of it, Steve, is on Florida. There are, by the way, two other states where there are recounts for these statewide elections, right? Georgia, Arizona. Yeah, take a look at uh, Georgia right here. I just dropped my paper, but I'll try to do it without this. Take a look at Georgia <laughs> right here. See if I can get over there. One second. It's a... Uh Hey, man, live big board oh my action. Goodness. I'm so sorry. Hot and see fresh this, on this Monday uh, morning. This changes. There we go. Okay, let's all go right. and take a look at the Georgia <laughs> governor's race. My God, I would hope maybe this thing just, would load. Maybe. It's not <laughs> my day, it. Hallie. I'll tell you what the deal just is on Georgia. Yeah, Basically, it's this. It's about a 60,000 vote gap separating okay. Stacey Abrams from Brian Kemp right now. There are a bunch of provisional ballots that are still to be added. They are expected to go overwhelmingly to Abrams. Is that going to be enough from her standpoint to bring Kemp under 50 percent and force right. the runoff? Probably not by themselves. What the Abrams campaign is trying to do here through lawsuits is to expand the number of ballots that are considered here. Votes, ballots that were made mailed in, you know, absentee ballots that they think were disqualified for reasons they should not have been disqualified. If the Abrams campaign can expand the pool that way, maybe then it's a, it's a you know, it's a tough path for her, but maybe then there's a way to get Kemp in there under 50 percent and go to that runoff. Arizona, real quick, Steve. And, and Arizona, don't even bother I'm, going back I'm, to the big look board. At this, it Let's just okay, Arizona's miracle. the most straightforward. You can see Kirsten Cinema here. The Democrat <laughs> now has opened up a lead over 30,000. Now, there are still quite a few votes to come out of Arizona, but basically what the story has been this. When you look at the votes that have been coming in, they have been cut. They've been breaking for Cinema at a much greater clip, I think, than anticipated. This is a very significant pad she's built up here. Our decision desk is not calling this race yet because there are still so many outstanding mm -hmm votes, but unless that turns around in a major and unexpected way, cinema is in a very good position right here in this race. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. Why don't you subscribe? It's really easy. Just click on that button down there. And for more news from MSNBC, click on any of these videos here for the latest interviews and highlights. You can get more videos from MSNBC with our newsletters. Head over to msnbc.com newsletters to sign up.